Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sir Supreme tier ranking video. Today we are ranking, ranking all of the British Prime Ministers um, from very good to mediocre. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight different tiers and um, very bad, decent, mediocre. What on earth have you done? Well, I've already read some of the other tiers, and they're very socialist, so let's take a look now. So, mediocre, decent, don't know, very bad. What have most others done? Well, they've modified it, haven't they? Because, yeah, it's quite a bad tier. So, how do we move this? How do we... Okay, there we go. So, we want, like, very bad to be at the bottom. For, I think, obvious reasons. Then we want bad to be below that. Mediocre, decent. We'll probably put don't know there. So, Theresa May. Ooh, 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 ooh. Didn't actually really do much. Reverse austerity, austerity a little bit. Brexit was pretty stuffed up with her, so we'll put her here. Douglas Hume seemed not too bad, actually. But kind of had a bit too much of a... Um, a go phase in the economy, trying to expand it to win the next general election. Aiden, pretty unpopular, I don't know why. I mean, his um, leadership with the um, Suez Canal crisis wasn't too bad. You are, who are you actually? Let me see, I don't, are these all of them or? These are, these are only modern ones, aren't they? 1918. You're not bald, when are you? No, you're not, you're, you're, I don't know who you are. Well, that's why you don't know here, isn't it? So let's put this to the bottom, because it's probably a little bit misleading there. Even I was thinking that, oh, I'm ranking him above Theresa, but I don't know who he is. Bojo! Huge wave of popularity in 2019, get Brexit done, reduce austerity a little bit, you know. We'll be um, keeping those taxes high for those rich folk, and at the same time we'll be increasing expenditure, sending an extra um, couple of uh, hundred million pounds to our NHS every week. Uh, restoring our borders and getting control back of our country. Um, and then COVID came along and he told you to uh, stay inside, but then he partied on and thousands died. Um, but yeah, his actual policy-wise wasn't too bad. His ideas were quite good, but um, unfortunately, um, you know, COVID got in the way and I couldn't really um, you know, put in my policies and uh, the, the Jeremy Corbyn was in the way and um, um, yeah, and, uh, and um, the stuff. And um, I, I couldn't really uh, talk properly, which impaired my uh, ability in the uh, House of Commons to get things done. So uh, I will be going to the, um, probably to the uh, neutral um, area, although... Um, uh, Decent is actually considered above neutral, so I don't know who on earth made this tier, but you are an absolute idiot. So this is going to be like a little bit good, and this is going to be like, yeah, okay. This is going to be like the mediocre, decent, little good, good, very good. Clement Attlee established the NHS and things like that, but was a bit of a socialist communist. You are, who are you? I don't know who you are. I did know who you are, I just forgot. Oh, David C. Um... Bringer of austerity, balance the budget a bit. Probably a bit too harsh in the first few years if you look at it from an economics perspective. Um, it wasn't really too bad. I put him in decent. Teddy, f three day a week, but he cut taxes, had the barber boom, which was a bit too um, of an expansionary economics um, kind of program. Wanted, uh, what was it, 5% GDP growth per annum? Or was it 10 I think one of his years he got about, yeah, a quarterly at an annualised rate. It was about 7% GDP growth. And then you had the three-day week with all of the, um, the, the protests with the miners and all like factory kind of caved in uh, because he had to. And he went to the election and said, who governs Britain? And even though he received more votes as a percentage, he received less as seats. And hence he lost the election. A uh, few um, kind of things about being homosexual and paedophile, but I don't really believe in those. And yeah, he, well, I mean, it wasn't too bad. He tried, and he certainly had the more kind of um, one nation conservative ideology that would have been helpful. Gordon Brown, I feel um, kind of bad for him because I've got the same eye troubles that he had, especially he had them twice, and I've had them twice. Not the exact same thing, um, both of the times. Um, opposed um, Tony Blair joining the. Why is Teddy so much bigger than the other people? Well, he's not, it's just at least smaller. Like, 
No, it's, it's see, it just looks, it looks so misaligned. Look at that, it looks pulled in. That's so weird. Unless brown is bigger. No, it's not. Okay. Didn't want Tony Blair to join the um, EU. Then adopted kind of a more good socialist stance where he didn't really want to be like Tony Blair and, you know, privatise everything at the same time, raise those taxes on the middle class. And he did uh, withdraw the troops as well more. So I'd say he was um, neutral. Howard McGill McGill Why did I just say that? Harold McMillan, probably mediocre. I don't really know too much about him. Oh, I did say that you've never had it so good. So things are probably pretty well. Oh, Howard Orson, there we go. Bit of a commie, devalued the pound, lied and said it's not affecting the pound in your pocket, was a bit weak with the unions and things like that, and then, like, had taxes at 90%, and then capital gains and, like, unearned was at 99%. So we'll put you in maybe neutral. I mean, you were quite successful in the economics. Jim Callahan, here we go. This is all like rat nosed sort of guy looks like an animal sometimes. Had the um you know, the uh well the the winter of discontent and then assured everyone at the airport that from an outside perspective it looked much better and that the media is just jealous that they got uh, that he got some time to be swimming in the lovely hot islands somewhere. And they didn't. So he was a bit of a just a guy who didn't really know what he was doing and um just caved quite quickly. Oh, Mrs. Thatcher, Mrs. Thatcher, Mrs. Thatcher. I love you, Mrs. Thatcher. Just fixed the UK's economy. And I can say this as a 17-year-old conservative when most people my age are hard leftists. You were just, you, you, you helped Northern Ireland. You let all of those political prisoners die who were terrorists and killed people like Bobby Sands. You cut taxes. For the rich a bit as well, and for the middle class, you brought the budget back to a large surplus, paid off the debt, privatised those inefficient resources, outsmarted the miners, didn't subsidise, you know, crippling, failing industry that was unprofitable, reduced the crime rate, solved the foreign policy, which was absolutely great. You got inflation down, unemployment up, but it eventually went down. You know, and like compared to Reagan, for example, you got the economy moving, and Reagan got it moving at the start of his term, but uh, uh, kind of due to the recession, kind of an overinflation, but you got it nice, steady, and slow. Um, and just, yeah, generally, you did a, a great job. And you look at the, sorry, you look at the Falklands and everywhere, and you just did a great job. John Major, here we go. He rates taxes, didn't he? Getting confused with H.W. Bush. I think you did a little bit, mate. I mean, you were like, all right, but no, you, Neville Chamberlain, you, you liar. Look at this paper. Oh, appeasement. Appeasement is so great. Let's get us into World War Two. We probably would have went into World War Two anyways, um, but you kind of led for that to happen. I say we, but Australia wasn't really so involved in World War Two. You are Stan, no, not Stanley Baldwin. You are Ramsey MacDonald. I don't really know too much about you. You are, um, what's your name? I I recognise your face. I don't know who you are. You go there. Okay, let's go for Winston Churchill first. A good wartime leader, but some of it was just luck on your commanders because you kind of failed in your approaches at Anzac and you're quite a failure as a leader. So I can imagine if I tiered uh, Churchill as this 20 years ago, I'd have been crucified, but nowadays I'm just going to put him as mediocre. Tony Blair, here we go. Evil, warmonger, released all the political political prisoners in Northern Ireland, raised people's taxes, had stealth taxes in the way of like, um, um, what was it exactly? I think national insurance and things like that went up and you, oh, you reduced the um, income tax thresholds. Uh, sorry, you you, 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 um, you didn't raise when people stopped paying tax and you reduced the standard deductions. That's what it was. Then you referred a whole bunch of people to the private sector of the NHS to reduce wasting t uh, waiting times. You inherited a budget coming strongly back into a surplus with huge economic growth. You turned that into a huge deficit, which um, led to the austerity in the 2010s by David Cameron's um, successive Conservative MP, uh, PMs, and also Gordon Brown. And you know, you just spent the cash at hospitals and schools, which Brown and the Tories had to roll back after. And you had the PPPs or PPIs, the private, the public-private partnerships or the public-private initiatives. 
So you would basically um, work with the private sector to develop schools and hospitals. But guess what? When you didn't have enough funding or it wasn't feasible to start the schools and hospitals, you still had to pay the private sector. So it was really a failure. So I'd put you in the bad or maybe even very bad, but probably just bad because you weren't too much of a socialist. So there we go. And if we look at the tiers of other people, you really can see these. Let me know down below in the comments um, what your tier ranking would have been. You are a legend, mate. Weedy lay weird layout. You're all right, PMs. You, what, what on earth is this? Seriously? You put Callahan online with Thatcher. And Teresa and Tony Blair on the same as Thatcher. You're an absolute disgrace. And you put Brown above them? And Cameron? I don't mind Cameron being there, but he's supposed to be socialist and you put Cameron up there. You think the only Tory, apart from Macmillan and Hume, you have that high? Really? Who do we have here then? Bojo. Okay, just no, no. Ridiculous. Anyways, that is the end of today's video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share if you enjoyed. And if you didn't, please leave some constructive criticism down below in the comments below. Once again, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, have a fantastic day, and I really do hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.